In today's episode, we're going to be covering a topic that isn't often spoken about in detail, but a topic that's very important nonetheless, and that is the topic of rifle stocks. In previous episodes, you've seen me hunting all kinds of animals with the Air Arms S510, which just happens to be one of my all-time favorite hunting rifles. But in this one, we're going to be moving away from the hunting experience and from the animals themselves and moving our focus towards the gear, more specifically the stocks. Now if you've been around the block, you'll almost certainly be familiar with the Air Arms S510. This has to be one of the most classic air guns of all time. From the beginning, this rifle was designed to be a thoroughbred hunting rifle, but over the years, Air Arms have designed and developed a variety of different stocks to suit different styles of shooting. And man, are these stocks something beautiful to look at. If you take a look at the Air Arms catalog, you'll see just how wide the range of Minelli stocks actually is. The S510 alone has seven different stock options, three ambidextrous poplar stocks, three dedicated right or left hand beech and walnut stocks, and a highly adjustable laminate stock. Today we're going to take a look at one of each of these kinds of stocks and compare the differences not only in appearance but also in functionality. Believe it or not, your stock choice will hugely influence the way you shoot and will probably influence your accuracy as well. So it's a very important thing to look at. Let's take a look, shall we? The very first stock we're going to look at is the right hand walnut stock because it's the earliest of the three designs and probably the most classic as well. This design features an incredibly comfortable cheek piece, beautiful checkering, rosewood caps on the forend and pistol grip, and a sleek design that hugs the air cylinder. What I like most about this stock is that it really is everything a hunter could wish for. When you're walking through the bush or out in the field, you want a rifle that is light and a rifle that shoulders really well. This stock gives you both. Because it's not chunky, it really is incredibly light and the check ring means that you can keep a good grip on it when you bring it to your shoulder. When out on a walk and stalk hunt, this is definitely my stock of choice. The next stock we're going to be taking a look at is the slightly more modern looking poplar stock in Hunter Green. At first glance, the poplar stock looks almost the same as the walnut stock in terms of its shape, but it's actually quite different. The most notable change is the ambidextrous cheek piece. The cheek piece is completely symmetrical on both sides, unlike the walnut stock, and features very modern looking curves. Another difference is that the poplar stocks are slightly wider at the top, which does give them a slightly chunkier feel. If you've got bigger hands, you might find this stock slightly easier to hold onto than the walnut or beech stocks. The checkering is also a little different to the walnut stock, but the effect is exactly the same. It helps your hand to stick like Velcro. Like the walnut stock, this is a hunter through and through. It's light, it's slim, and it's traditional. These poplar stocks come in a variety of different colors and different finishes as well, so there really is something for everyone. If you're in the market for a hunting egg and you really do have a tough choice to make. And lastly, we've got the laminate stock. Now this thing really is on another level. It was introduced a few years ago with the Ultimate Sporter and the HFT 500 and it really has taken the market by storm. Besides being really beautiful, it offers some amazing features as well. The first thing I want to focus on with this stock is adjustability. When I reviewed the Ultimate Sporter earlier this year, I said that the adjustability of the rifle is what made it stand out amongst other guns on the market, and that is largely due to the stock. The cheek piece is able to move around in almost any direction conceivable, and same with the butt pad, which really helps you to adjust the rifle to suit to your needs. Now this stock is rather heavy, and most people's initial response would be to assume that that is a bad thing. And perhaps if you do a lot of walk and stalk hunting, then it is. But the truth is that the extra weight can actually have a hugely positive impact on your accuracy. Let me explain. In most disciplines of competition shooting, you'll find that the rifles are actually quite heavy and chunky. Now there's a reason for this. The extra weight gives the rifle more inertia, which means that the risk of pulling a shot at the last moment is hugely reduced. If this weight is in the stock itself, 
in other words at the bottom end of the rifle then there's an added benefit in that the risk of cant error is largely reduced because the rifle is constantly leveling itself all the time when i fitted the laminate stock in other words the ultimate sporter stock to the s510 extra i noticed that my groups actually improved this may seem a bit bizarre considering the mechanics of the gun remained exactly the same but the adjustability of the stock and the extra weight made this an incredibly comfortable gun to shoot with. This thing was made to win competitions. The genius in all of this is that Air Arms have found a way to take one legendary rifle, the S510, and turn it into multiple different rifles that look and feel completely different to each other. If you want to shoot long range and you need a really stable shooting platform, then you can just fit the laminate stock. If you're walking long distances and you need something a little bit lighter, you can just fit the walnut, beech or poplar stock and voila, you've got a gun suited to your style of hunting. So the moral of the story is, don't underestimate the difference that a stock can make. Next time you purchase an air gun, take the stock choice seriously because I promise you, once you find something that is perfectly suited to your style of shooting, there'll be no looking back. Thank you.